Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make the ultimate survival house number three. That's right, we have actually made three of these houses now. These houses are designed to be everything that you may want in a survival world. And I just want to say that I'm very happy to make one of these again because, of course, it means that once again, we have our old friend here, Cinnamon. Say hello, Cinnamon. What do you have to tell the people? Cinema, you can't tell people to do that. You just can't, you can't demand that they do that. Although you can politely ask them. Guys, if you wouldn't mind, can you please, if you do enjoy the video, can you please give it a like? It really helps me out, it helps the channel out, and it helps the channel grow. And it really does genuinely just make me a little bit happier. You guys want that, don't you? And you want Cinnamon to be happier, at least I do. I might even extend Cinnamon Stable if you guys enjoyed the video enough. If you do enjoy the content, please do remember to subscribe to the channel. If you subscribe, say hello. I'll say hello down there back in the comment section. And also, please do click the little bell next to the subscription button. That will mean that you get every single one of the videos sent directly to your sub box. Now that all of that's out of the way, guys, why don't I actually show you the house? So first of all, you've seen all of the outside of the house, or at least the ground floor. What you may not have seen is if you climb up to the actual second floor of the house on the outside, so you can take one of two ways. You can take the ladder that we have coming all the way up to the center, and that takes you to the nether portal that we have that runs through the center of the house, or you can take the steps here, just right of that, and you can access uh, the nether portal in two different ways, three different ways if you count the inside, but you can also walk all the way up to the top here, and you'll see that we have this excellent looking roof farm. I do believe that these are beetroot or turnips or something. I really can't identify those. They look like rabbit ears that have moss on them. And a really cool thing about this house is you can also get down to the back of the house, from the front of the house, without even going inside it. You can walk straight up to the roof and you can come down the stairs here, if you like, right next to the stable, or you can come all the way up to the top of the roof once again, and you can just ladder yourself down. This house is so accessible, it's unbelievable. Now, if we come to the interior, if we come through the front door, as is sometimes customary, or alternatively, here's something cool. If you come through the nether portal, you, 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 that's the sound effect, and you walk back through, you'll find that most of the time, you'll come into the actual interior of the house, so you have like three different ways to enter it. As you can see, we have a place for the nether portal, we have a couple of chests surrounding it, that's the front door right there. We have a little bit of a hallway. Um, we also have a pretty colourful interior. It's a bit interesting. We have a second floor to the interior. If you come up here, you'll notice that we have plenty of chests, which are a little bit hidden. You might not expect anything to be up here uh, if you look at it from like the ground floor. Like, ah, you can't see anything. Why even go up there? You've got plenty of room to put some crafting stuff um, on the floor. You have a place to do some enchanting. You have a little bedroom area. Of course, all of this can be modified and you can add more or less of what you want, but it's a nice, spacious area that's very, very accessible from all different ways, which really does make this probably, this might be my favourite ultimate survival house that I've made, and of course this is the third one, but guys, you've seen the house now, I'm sure you've figured out whether or not you want to make it already, I hope you guys do because this is an awesome house, it's so unique. Why don't I actually show you how to make this thing? And please, for the love of God, don't forget about cinnamon. So, if you want to make it, here's what you'll need. Grab yourself some spruce wood, some birchwood planks, some white stained glass, some white stained glass pane, some birchwood stairs, some dark oak stairs, some dark oak slabs, some birchwood fence, and some grass blocks. Plus, we need all of the other items that you see in the inventory, and we may even need more after that. It kind of depends what you want to do to the place. Now, pause the video if you like. Take note of everything that's there, grab it yourself, and once you have all of this stuff, we can now begin work on the house. And by the way, this house will fit into a 16 block, and that is 16 blocks coming across the front by a 21 block area. So that's 21 blocks going towards the back of the house. Now, if you choose to make this rectangular shape in your world, again, 16 blocks by 21 blocks, then you want to begin with the very front left-hand corner block right here of your rectangle, and you want to move in by one. On top of this block, you want to place a spruce wood. Behind that, place an additional spruce wood. Go up on top of that by two. One, two. Then go right by two. One, two. Go down to hit the ground. Take the block that hits the ground, place a block in front of it. But you also 
want to take the same block that you extended down to the ground and you want to go back from this block by four with your spruce wood. So that's one, two, three, and four, like that. You then want to extend that fourth block to the right by one. Then you want to do two outward diagonals going to the right. So that's one coming towards you and that's two once again coming towards you. Then do a diagonal coming inwards once again to the right. Then do a diagonal coming to the right inwards like towards you by one. Then do two inward right diagonals. So going towards the back diagonally. That's one and then that would be two. You then want to connect this block down to the ground and you want to do it by placing a white stained glass block and a birchwood plank like that. So once you've done that you actually want to take this road that you've just made and you want to do a row of spruce wood directly to the right of it like that so that's the sort of effect that you like. And if you come all the way over to the left and you find this block here that we like started going right from and stuff you also want to connect that block down to the ground like this to form this sort of shape. You also want to take this center spruce wood block and you want to connect this block down to the ground like this. So you want to have something which should look like that. Then underneath every single one, and I do mean every single spruce wood block that you've just placed, place a glass. Now I would suggest on the left hand part of spruce wood using glass pane. However, it's up to you. I'd use glass block for the center part, glass pane on this part. Place birch wood planks underneath each one of those glasses like this. So this is the effect that you're looking for. Looks quite good. And you may choose to have the spruce wood face upwards on top of the glass. So you may want to have it face upwards like this and you may get a better effect. You might get a similar thing just um, at the entrance as well. Now that that's taken care of, this is what we are going to do next, ladies and gentlemen. So we want to take this spruce wood block on the very right hand side of what we've made you want to take the bottom block, you guys can see the one, and you want to extend it in front of the build by three with your spruce wood, mind you. That's one, two, three, like that, coming out in front of the build. Then you want to, going right of this, you want to place two dark oak wood slabs going right. That's one, two. Then place a spruce wood. Look back at what you've made, so kind of like back on what you've made, and you want to go backwards from, to the right, from this spruce wood by seven. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. You then want to place, still going right, two virtual planks, one, two, spruce wood, two virtual planks, spruce wood, two virtual planks, two spruce wood. So you want to have something which should look a little bit like that. There you go. Wonderful. Now, once you've got that sorted out, this is what we are going to do next. So we're going to come all the way to the front of where we just began. So this block that we went back by seven and then started doing all that other stuff. Well, we want to take this block and from this, we want to do three upper right diagonals. So if we start from this one facing upwards, we do one upright right diagonal, two and three like that going right. Then right of that place, a birchwood fence. Right of that, a spruce wood. Then do two upper right diagonals with the spruce wood. That's one and two like that. Go right by six. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Like that. Connect that block down to the ground, that sixth block. But after you've done that, and by the way, you should find that that connects very nicely down here. Um, after you've done that, you now want to take that sixth block that you placed. You want to take the block just underneath it. So this one, you want to take this block, you guys can see. And you want to extend this to the right by three. One, two, three. You want to go up on top of this block by one, but you also want to extend it down to the ground. So you'll have something which should look like this. And if you like, what you can also do, you see this spruce wood here in between the two rows of birch. You can extend this row upwards to connect all the way up using your birch wood. And you can do the same thing just to the left here. You can take the spruce wood that touches the birch wood and you can extend this all the way upwards as well. And you can then fill this part in here in the left. You can fill this in with spruce wood. So you can have an effect which should look like that. That's quite nice. Now, once you've got that sorted out, we're now going to come to the very back of the build, which is here. And we're going to begin by taking you see this spruce wood that, oh, I'm so happy that it's done this. You want to take this spruce wood that is facing us and you want to extend it to the right by three. That's one, two, three. Now connect that block down to the ground. Take the block that hits the ground and place a block in front of it. Then come all the way back up to where you were 
and you want to take this block that you just connected down to the ground and you want to go right of it by two, one, two, go up by one, go down from that same block by one, go right one, down one, right one, down one, right one, down one, you've hit the ground. Place a block in front of that, left one, do like a backwards left diagonal, then we would place a fence gate here, but we'll place a birch wood fence anyway. A fence gate is better. Then we'll place a spruce wood. So we want to have something which should look like that. That's wonderful. And you know what? Whilst we are back here, um, let's just do a little bit of detail just um, where the door is going to be. So where you have um, these two spruce woods that kind of poke out parallel to each other, you want to place birch wood fence on top of these. And you also want to place a birch wood fence here just on the right. So in these three positions, place birch wood fence. Then, you want to place on top of this most left-hand fence, you want to place a dark oakwood stair facing outwards. Behind that, an upside down stair. On top of that, a regular stair. Going right of this, I want to place two dark oakwood planks. That's one and two, just like this. That's all you need. Then, you want to just behind the, like, the top row of dark oakwood stuff that you've been placing, place virtual planks, and underneath that, white stained glass block. And you'll have an effect which should look like that, and that is very, very important to us later on. We'll deal with this a little bit more later where we'll be making the stable and all of that fun stuff. Well, once you've got that sorted out, we're going to move slightly over to the right here, and we want to do this. So... You want to take this row of two spruce wood that we have poking out here, right? You want to, in the ground, you want to dig these out. You want to dig two blocks to the right in the ground. So two blocks to the right. You want to fill those two blocks in with dark oak wood slabs. And I do only mean to. I have dug three, but I do mean to. Then you want to, on top of this third block, you want to place a spruce wood. Behind that spruce wood, place an additional spruce wood. And on top of that spruce wood, you actually want to go up by four. One, two, three, and four. Now... You want to one row inwards, diagonally you want to do another row of spruce wood that is as high as the row of spruce wood that you made previously. You then want to, from this row of spruce wood, you want to move outwards towards you diagonally to the right again, and you want to do another row of spruce wood. So you want to have this formation here. Now once you have that, you want to move to the very right of your build, so you're on the empty side of your build, if you want to think of it like that, that's how I think about it. And once you've got that sorted out, you now want to take the top spruce wood block here, and you want to extend it to the right by three, so towards build, one, two, three, like that. You want to extend that block down to the ground, the third block that is, and you also want to extend it up by one, right by six, one, two, three, four, five, six. You want to extend it down to the ground, like this, and once you've done that, we can now take that block that hit the ground, so this one, and we can go right of it by three with the birch wood planks, that's one, two, three. Then place a spruce wood, then at three birch wood, that's one, two, three. Then we're going to take this row of spruce wood that we have here. So where we have the entrance, we want to take this block here, just up like the up left hand corner of the entrance we want to connect this backwards using the birch wood and we'll have something which should look like that so that's the sort of shape that we want you can also connect this spruce wood here this is it spruce wood yeah silly me i thought it was birch wood we can connect this spruce wood here upwards and we just want to have a row which should look like that which looks fine and dandy next thing we want to do is we want to take this space that we have here you see this big space? We want to take the middle block of this space and we want to cut it in half vertically using our spruce wood. We also want to fill this gap of two in here to the left. We want to fill this in with birch wood planks, like this. We want to do a row of birch wood planks coming across the bottom of the space that we just filled in. So we want to have this. Now, once you've got all of that sorted out, this is what we're going to do next. So now, now, finally, we are going to start adding some detail to this thing. So, we are going to take the two blocks, the birch wood plank blocks that we have in between the windows, and we want to place grass in, in front of them, like this. We want to place an upside down dark oak wood stairs in front of of the spruce wood in between the grass. We want to place an additional spruce wood left and right of the grass, and we also want to place an additional spruce wood on the right coming out of the center of the wall, so we want to have this formation. Place 
On top of each one of those spruce woods, a single birch wood fence, including the upside down dark oak wood stair here in the middle of the window. Also, on top of the left hand spruce wood here, next to the window on the left, and the right hand spruce wood, the spruce wood on the right, place an additional spruce wood, so on top of the fence. We then want to place upside down dark oak wood stairs coming inwards from each one of those spruce woods. We want to connect them together using dark oak wood slabs, and we want to connect down to the fence using an additional dark oak wood slab like this. Then we are going to take the two spruce woods that we've just connected together and we want to now connect them together diagonally. We do this by placing a spruce wood on top of each one of the dark oak wood stairs and then we place an additional spruce wood coming inwards, upwards diagonally and then one right at the very top center from each other. We connect that center spruce wood downwards using birch wood fence and we have something which looks like this. We are now going to fill the little window in and it might be easier if we do this from the inside. We're going to fill the window in with white stained glass pane. So I'm filling the window in with white stained glass pane. Now I'm going to do a layer of birch wood, I'm going to do a row of birch wood planks on top of the window followed by a layer of dark oak wood slime. So I want to have something which from the outside should look like that, which looks quite colourful, looks quite nice, really it does, I like that, I like that a lot. Now once you've got that sorted out, the only two things that we have to do is we have to place birch wood stairs on the outer parts of the spruce wood blocks that we have coming outwards from the window, like this. So we want to kind of form like a, a roof, pretty much. And I'm just going to take this top center spruce wood block and I'm going to have it face upwards because I like it better that way. And I am now going to take out the wooden trap doors in the poppies and I'm going to place wooden trap doors in front of the grass blocks. And I'm going to place poppies on top. So we're going to have something which should look a little bit like that. So that is what you want to have for this particular side of the house. And as a matter of fact, ladies and gentlemen, if we come to the opposite side of the house right here, we want to do the exact same thing on this side that we did the other side. So I'm going to do two layers of virtual planks. Here, I'm going to do a layer of virtual planks just here. At the back, I'm going to fill um, this back panel in. I'm then going to take the window that we have here and I'm going to place grass blocks in front of the two rows of two birch wood. Then I'm going to place a spruce wood left and right of the grass. Left, right of the grass. Then I'm going to place an upside down dark oak wood stairs in between the two grass blocks. I then want to place a birch wood fence on top of each one of the upside down dark oak wood stairs and the two spruce woods. Then I want to place on top of the left hand birch wood stair and the right on top of the left hand birch wood fence and on top of the right hand birch wood fence I want to place spruce wood fence um spruce wood. Then I want to connect them together. I want to do upside down dark oak wood stairs coming inwards from each one of the spruce wood blocks. I want to connect them together using dark oak wood slabs and I want to place an additional slab underneath the center block. Then I want to take each one of the dark oak wood stairs, the upside down ones, and I want to place spruce wood on top of them. Then I want to come inwards and I want to place a diagonal layer of spruce wood that connects each one of those spruces together. I want to connect that center spruce down to the ground using birch wood fence like this. And then what I want to do is I'm just going to very quickly place wooden trap doors in front of the grass blocks like this. And I'm going to place poppies on top of the grass blocks, so like that. Then I'm going to throw away the wooden trap doors and the poppies. I'm going to grab birch wood planks and um, spruce wood again. I'm going to first of all fill in the window areas using white stained glass pane. Here we go. Then I want to do a layer of birch wood planks on top of the pane like this. Then I'm going to do a layer of dark oak wood, um, dark oak wood planks on top of the birch wood planks like this. And we will have something which looks exactly like that. Now, on the outer part of the window, I'm going to place birch wood stairs. So I'm going to place birch wood stairs on the outer parts of the spruce wood surrounding the window. So it'll look a little something like that. And that is a fantastic looking window. And if you like, you may even opt to place a spruce wood um, on top 
like you might want to replace that top center spruce wood. So um, there you have an excellent looking window on both the right hand side of the house and also the left hand side of the house. And on the left hand side of the house, you may want to just finish this up a little bit by placing some white stained glass pane here. Um, where you have the windows, you might want to just pay, place some white stained glass pane just to fill it in a little bit. Now, next thing we're going to do is we are now going to shape the roof of this thing a little bit. Because once we've shaped the roof, we can focus on the back of the house once again. So, first of all, we are going to take... Um, this, this might be a little bit difficult to find, to be honest, guys. A little bit difficult to find. It's okay. Um, you want to take this spruce wood block here on the front. Can you guys see it? I'm sure you can find the one. It's not It's not that hard. I'm sure you guys will find it. On top of the spruce wood, you want to place an additional spruce wood. Then you want to leaving a gap of one behind it. So you'll have to place something to leave a gap of one. So leaving a gap of one behind it, you want to place an additional spruce wood. Then coming upwards, backwards, diagonally, place two additional spruce wood coming upwards. So you can see that you are parroting what you have on the right-hand side. You want to take the last spruce wood block that you place and you want to place... Um, two spruce woods coming to... The, you want to place three spruce wood coming to the left. You want to place one, two, three. Now it's time for us to grab the obsidian. So we're going to grab the obsidian and we're going to place an obsidian in front of the last spruce wood block that we placed. You want to go left of that obsidian by two. One, two. Do a bottom left diagonal from that obsidian and connect it down to the ground like this. So I'm connecting it down to the ground. I'm going to then dig into the ground and to the right by three and replace those empty blocks with obsidian. Then I'm going to upwards diagonally from that place a row of obsidian that connects upwards to give us what will be our nether portal. Then we want to take the spruce wood that we have behind the portal and we want to connect it all the way over to the left of the roof. So we want to have something which should look like that. That is the sort of roof that you want to have with your spruce wood. So that's what you want to have. That's what you want to enjoy. Now, there's just one last thing that we have to do in regards to the shape of the roof. So what we want to do is we want to come to the back of the house. Can you remember where I said that we're going to have this area for the ladder? You want to take this upper left hand corner a spruce wood and you want to go behind it by three one two three you want to go up from it by one and then you want to go all the way over to the right until you are two blocks away from the right hand side so you want to in the end end up with a shape that should look like that all we have to do now is we just have to fill certain parts of this in so this is where things get ever so slightly tricky they they do they get kind of tricky so if we come to the back first of all we'll take care of the back so on the back we have got to establish where we have some walls and some stairs and stuff so we want to take behind the ladder on the right and we want to add rows of birch wood planks coming behind the row of spruce wood until we have a row of birch wood that is like this so we want to add three rows of birch behind the back of the area where we're adding the ladder we then want to create a birch wall that connects to the back entrance of the house so we want to have a shape that should look like this you want to take the back bottom row of uh, birch wood planks you want to extend it to the right and connect it to the back wall we then want to fill this wall in we want to fill the walls that we've just created in with birch wood and these should connect mostly to spruce wood that we have up above us so it'll connect mostly to spruce wood that we have up above us now once you've got that sorted out we can then focus on adding some stairs here so these, this area here, where we have the empty space and we have the dark oak wood planks in the ground, this is where we are going to create some stairs. And you can do this in multiple ways. But the idea is, you want to have a layer of dark oak wood planks or a layer of dark oak wood slabs that eventually, like this, will take you up to the second floor of the build. So, in some way, shape, or form, however you want to do it, you want to connect 
up to the second story of the house. And like I said, it's it's kind of up to you like which blocks you use to get up here. But it should be obvious, or at least it might not be obvious because I've not really pointed it out. The second story is in line where we have the top of the ladder, so the second story is right here. And I may even use some dark oak wood planks just because it's a bit easier to use this instead of the actual slab. So the second story of the house begins here. This is where the second story is. This is where you are trying to reach when you, um, when you are working on your stairs and all of that. So it's like here. So like I said, it's, it's up to you how you, how you like get up to the second floor. You can use a mixture of stairs and you can use a mixture of slabs and all that stuff. It just matters that you get up here. And we have a similar story up front here too. So we have to somehow um, reach um, the second story from here. So first of all, I'm just going to build up a little bit more of a floor here coming towards the front of the build. But now I'm just going to place a layer of dark oak wood stairs that kind of comes downwards. And then um, this is going to be a solid surface here. This is going to be a solid surface. And this is going to lead... Um, to the never portal so um, this area we want to be able to walk on right here so this wants to branch out and we want to be able to walk on this surface exactly where the never portal is you guys can see um, exactly how this is uh, supposed to cobble together at least I hope you can I, I tried to make it uh, nice and simple then all we have to do is we just have to once again like in kind of like a, a maybe a creative way um you just want to kind of like place your dark oak wood stairs in such a way that you can walk up to the top here maybe add some planks in maybe add some slabs stuff like that so you want to be able to eventually walk up the side of the front of the house walk around the top of the house which is something that we now have to work on we now have to um just fill in the top floor of the house here where the little garden's going to be now you can have a farm or you could have a roof garden or you could have something completely different up here that is um that is completely up to you but that is what you want to have so far and as a matter of fact you might not even want to like um you might not want to like have the blocks connect underneath the spruce so um you might just want to have something that looks like this and uh what we now want to do is we also want to build up this area um, of the walkway just up here on the left and we want to mirror what we have on the right so um you can see where we have this spruce wood we want to add an additional one here and we want to add two here so we can have the same thing on the right and i'm also going to make sure that each one of these spruce woods face upwards because for some reason I don't like it when they don't face upwards. I don't have a block underneath this one, so it's going to kind of be difficult to do that one, but um, I'll eventually um, move that so that it is facing the right way. So that is what we have so far for the front of the house. It's shaping up nicely, whether you guys can see that or not, but trust me, it is. And once you've got that sorted out, and as a matter of fact, we might even change this. So, you know, the, the area just above the Never Portal, like in front of the Never Portal, I'm just going to color swap this to birch wood um i think i'd prefer birch wood instead of having like the running theme of um dark oak wood it's up to you whether you change this or you know whatever color you like i uh, i like it exactly like this so i'm just going to have some birch wood here also add some white stained glass blocks um you will actually first of all you want to add a birch wood fence left and right like this then you want to add like white stained glass blocks on top of the exposed open um on top of the exposed open spruce woods leaving the center block alone in which we will place a ladder coming all the way up to this we also now that we've done this we can like make a little roof just above the entrance so just above the entrance here what we want to do is we want to have left and right of the actual entrance we want to have a row of dark oak wood stairs that runs backwards left and right so it runs backwards until it hits something and that is just left and right of the entrance then we want to have on top of this row we want to have a row of birch wood planks um for the next row of this so on top of the actual blocks that we were just on the side of we want to have a row of birch wood planks coming upwards like this 
We also want to then place a birch wood stairs on top of each one of the planks and the theme here is once again we are moving backwards. We want to place birch wood planks between these and we want to place a dark oak wood stairs right at the back of the roof and we want to extend it forwards and we want to place um, we want to place some slabs coming all the way forwards with a dark oak wood stair poking out the front of the roof. Then we want to place in front of the dark oak wood stairs left and right at the entrance, we want to extend them forwards by one. Then we want to upwards and inwards diagonally, we want to place um, more dark oak wood stairs with one in the very center, destroy that dark oak wood just above, and then destroy this slab so we have this sort of formation so you can see that the roof comes up a bit more subtly. Then just above the entrance where we have this empty space, place some birch wood planks. Then place upside down birch wood stairs underneath the dark oak wood stairs with a, an upside down birch wood stairs right upside down just at the top center like that. So there you can see we've just done the little mini roof here and then we can do the roof of the nether portal. So you guys might not have recognized this, the nether portal itself has a little bit of a roof. So first of all, I'm just going to build up a little bit more of a, um, a little bit more of an area surrounding the nether portal like this. So I'm just going to build up a little bit of a platform left and right in the nether portal. Then I'm going to place on the very sides of the nether portal, oak wood stairs, dark oak wood stairs, like this. And um, actually, you know what? Um, on the very left and on the very right of the nether portal, we have dark oak wood stairs. Then coming up the center, we have birch wood stairs, like this. And that is placed on top of the portal as well. We then want to place a dark oak wood plank connecting the two blocks at the center. We then want to place dark oak wood stairs coming outwards from each one of the dark oak wood stairs and the birch wood stairs like this. So we want to have them come out. We want to place upside down birch wood stairs underneath each one of the stairs and connecting top center like this. And we want to connect the dark oak wood stairs downwards using birch wood fence to give us something which should look like that. I'm also going to place a dark oak wood stair right at the very top center, upside down birch wood stair, and once that that's done, I'm just going to connect this backwards one row, just so that it comes onto the spruce like this, and I'm just going to place like a dark oak wood plank here, and like a birch wood slab, and I'm just going to have it like connect like this, and I might even place like an opposing um, dark oak wood stair here as well. And uh, actually, I might make those, I'm going to make those dark oak wood stairs instead of birch wood stairs because I think it makes more sense. It looks a little nicer too. And um, that is what we want to have up front center in the house. And you might see that we have some empty gaps here just around the portal from the outside. Fill those in with birch wood planks, dark oak wood planks, etc, etc, whatever makes you happy. You might want to contrast and use dark oak wood instead of the uh, load of birch that we kind of have like about the place. And we we will have, I actually can't escape that way, and we will have something which should look like that, which looks very nice, very impressive. And once that's sorted out, I'm now just going to add some birch wood fence, um, just coming up the right here of these stairs. So I'm going to add some birch wood fence coming up the right of the stairs like this. So that looks pretty nice if you, uh, if you ask me, I like that. Um, I'm also going to add some um, here at the back and here as well. Going to add some here also. Just going to add some coming towards the back like this. I might even place an additional spruce wood here as well just at the back. Actually, what did I do on the original version? Oh, I just left it exposed. That's what I did. I just left it exposed. So I might just extend that back like this. And um, once you've got that sorted out, I mean, there's not too much more to do. We have to do the horse stable, which is very, very simple. Um, the horse stable, we are just going to grab some hay bales. And where we have these two pairs, or this one pair, really, of uh, birchwood, uh, birchwood fence, we're going to place a hay bale on top of each one of these. Connect them together. 
take the three um, center blocks, extend them forward by one, and also go up on top of them by one. And there you have a nice little horse staple. You may also want to put a little bit of a gate in here as well. And I'm well aware that the horse, I think it's two blocks wide, right? So it won't go through. But um, that doesn't stop you adding a horse, and I guess it won't escape them, will it? So um, you might want to add your very own cinnamon. It's the exact same one from the intro. Hello, cinnamon, you beautiful creature. And there you will have a horse that's quite happy, and it can, I believe that horse can actually roam into the house. No, it can't, but it does have a nice area to hang around in it, so you can have uh, plenty of room for multiple horses. You could even hide something in here as well, inside the stable. You could add, well, goodbye, Cinnamon, I knew you were, but you could hide some stuff in there if uh, if you so wanted. Um, some obvious things left to do, we have to add some ladders um, coming up the back here, coming all the way up the back, so you can access the, um, the second floor. You want to do the same thing coming up the front, so you can access the second floor, like this. Uh, we also have to add a couple of flowers um, to the front. We have to grab some poppies, we have to grab some flower pots, and we have to grab some doors. So, just left and right of the entrance, I'm having a flower pot with a poppy just above. That looks nice. I'm going to use a birch wood door for the door because I don't, I'm, I'm starting to like them. I don't know why. Um, on the very back, I also want a similar deal. I just want to um, fill in the door area with birch wood doors because I, I like birch wood doors now. now. I, I didn't used to, but I, I do now. And um, on the top of the roof, uh, one thing that we're missing up here is um, some grass. Uh, we'll need some uh, signs. Where are you? Um, a hoe, some sort of seeds, and maybe even some water too. So up here, I'm going to place a little farm. Um, it's not a big farm. It's basically a rectangular shape of grass block. This can be made into a roof garden. This can be made into all sorts of different things. A lot of farms easy to do though. Then I'm going to place water inside this. I'm going to hoe the land and place seeds inside of it. So I'm just going to do all of this, place some seeds. Then it's kind of up to you what you do around the grass, but um, I would use maybe some signs going around the grass. I would also consider using trapdoors um, to go around this, and um, that will create a little barrier between the farm and everything else. But signs are a little bit different. Um, you might not have used signs to uh, to do this before. So, again, a little bit different. Um, it's up to you what you kind of do with this. But um, eventually, this will grow into something nice. Again, you can use this as a roof garden. You can use it as whatever. You can use it as storage. You can do whatever you want up here. Once you have that taken care of, um, only a few things left to do, really. Um, we have to light the portal, which I'm going to do last, and we have to uh, apply some, like, hedging and stuff around the place. So anywhere that you think that the house is a little bit plain, so maybe just, like, left of the entrance here, um, you might want to add a little bit of a hedge, um, just kind of like anywhere. So maybe, like, here at the back, you might feel as though that it could benefit from a hedge. Um, maybe, where else? Maybe just like here in the cut. Nah, I don't like that. Um, maybe like here around the back as well. It's mainly on the left hand side, to be honest. Um, but maybe here, you think that the house could benefit from the hedge. Um, where we have all this empty, boring spruce wood. Maybe you think that you could add a little bit of hedge here. Looks uh, fine to me. Looks great. You can even connect it to the window if you so choose. Doesn't look too bad. And, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is pretty much all of the house. Uh, if you want, you can. Now dig an area around the house, you can fill it with grass, you can fill it with um, stone, you can do what you like. But this is the house complete. The only thing that we have to do now is we've got to bloop, ah, actually we've got to destroy this birch wood, wonderful, bloop, turn the nether portal on, and there you go, there you have the ultimate survival house, number three. Looks great, looks fantastic if I do say so myself, and I do believe, oh no, yeah, okay, just got to fill this block in here uh, with birch these two blocks, it turns out, with birch wood planks. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's the ultimate survival house. Number three. How do you guys like it? Do you guys like it a lot? I love this thing so much. I think there is maybe the best ultimate survival house that I've made. It's so cool. I, I love it. It's so different. Like, it's it's got, like, the built-in stable. It's got so many ways to access the house. Um, from the top, from the bottom, from the back, from the side. You've got all sorts of ways that you can add in this house. You can even add, like, maybe, like, an e like a little secret hidden door in here into the house. You could even add that if you wanted to, just to add more entrance points. It's so accessible. There's so many ladders and stuff around this house. I love the nether portal in the center. That's something 
something that I think I'm going to keep a theme with these ultimate survival houses. I do love that so much. We even have the roof garden, which I, I love that. <laughs> I love everything about this house. I hope you guys like it as well. Um, remember that if you want to see the... You know what? As a matter of fact, why don't we, why don't we port back to the original version and then we can take a look at it. So this is the original version of the ultimate survival house number three. And the reason that I wanted to come back and show you this one is because for those of you that may be lacking some interior ideas and some exterior ideas, I think I want to show you this. So um, to keep things simple, around the outside of the ultimate survival house, you see that we've got a load of hedges and stuff around this one. Um, we I already showed you how to do that. But we also have a little bit of stone here um, out front. If you are planning on like adding some stone like around where the portal might be like to the center of it, I don't think that's a bad idea. It's not a bad idea to add some stone to that at all. I really like to use the grass path around these particular builds. I don't know why, but I like the grass path. Bear in mind that when you add grass path um, like underneath like trapdoors, and stuff it it doesn't do what it's supposed to so you'll have to add an additional block there instead um that's pretty much the outside like we've done most of the outside um in the actual tutorial itself it's just it adds something very very subtle if you add the grass path and like the uh stone and make sure the stone's all rickety and uneven um for the inside of the house i mean it's not the biggest interior but you have got a lot of stuff to do like um in front of the portal there's plenty of storage space for different uh, different chests that you can add you could add some crafting materials you could add um, I mean, th there's just no end of space that you can add some chests to here on the left, um, out here in front of the window. If you come through the hallway and you come into the main area for the house, you have plenty of room for a nice library um, that you can have an enchanting table in the middle. Um, this is where I would stick a bedroom, and this, by the way, is where I might also add an additional, um, a hidden door. And you could actually hide the door behind the hedge, like um, you could just add a door here behind the hedge. You could even use like a dark oak wood here. So you could just add like a door just behind the hedge here, crack it open, walk through, boom, you're in. And of course, keep like keep like the floor uneven, um, keep everything nice and busy, add loads of fence, add loads of flowers and stuff. And might, you might even want to add like the little second floor thing like I have here just for some additional chests that some people might not even check. You might have not even noticed this, um, <laughs> this uh, ladder in the back corner. But yeah, this, this is sort of what you might want to add in the interior or not. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. Like that's that's just what I wanted to show you here. I just wanted to show you all of the stuff um, that you might want to do to the interior. Uh, as you can see, once again, not the biggest, not the biggest, but I, I do think that it has a lot of charm, and I do think it looks lovely. Now, hopefully, you guys have enjoyed the tutorial. If you have, please do remember to smack that like button. I would really, really appreciate it. Hit that like button. It helps me out loads. It really does. It helps me out a tremendous amount. If you do smack that like button. Um, the light button might even turn blue. It might even turn green. Who knows? If you smack it hard enough, it might even turn rainbow colored. You'll just have to give it a go. Um, if you do like the video, please do remember to subscribe to the channel. If you subscribe, please do say hello down there in the comment section. I will respond. And also do click the little bell next to the subscription button. And that will ensure that you get every single one of my videos sent directly to your sub box. Now, if you subscribe, you might even... Let me give you a sneak peek. I don't do this very often. But um, this is a cool little tower house that I've been working on. Like, we don't just make, like, ultimate survival houses. We we do uh, all sorts of little weird stuff around here. Like, this is a little tower house that I'm working on. And is as a complete direct contrast to this that's a skyscraper by the way that i worked on this is a suburban mansion that i'm working on so you can see that we kind of like deal in all sorts of different styles if you take a look around the actual world we do all sorts of stuff like this is probably the next mansion that you'll see on the channel by the way guys speaking of mansions please do comment down below and let me know what you do want to see next very interested do you want to see more ultimate survival houses tower houses mansions let me know down there in the comment section but if you are interested in exploring my channel please do check out the card system and the description below because that is an awesome place for you to become more acquainted with my channel check out the playlist the playlists are your friend it'll show you how to make stuff like this so if you wanted to make anything that you could possibly think of to put in a public park or if you're struggling check out my park builds playlist this is just one example of a playlist that i have on my channel as you can see it has loads of stuff in it it has stuff that you'd expect to see in a park it'd have a tennis court soccer pitch playgrounds um, maybe even a swimming pool if you've got a fancy park, duck ponds, food trucks, 
food stores, skate parks, stuff like that, but it does also have um, some houses in here as well, so if you wanted to make an eco house, that you'd probably find that in the Park Builds playlist. Um, if you wanted to make survival houses, again, you'd find that probably in the Park Builds playlist as well, I'd probably thrown that in there. All sorts of different houses. Um, if you wanted to make a city, then I am very, very slowly working on a city. Um, if you wanted to find that, City Builds Playlist, or it might even be called the Real World Buildings Playlist. It'll be down there below in the description anyway, the card system as well. And if you wanted to make skyscrapers like you saw earlier in my uh, other world, or petrol stations, train stations, townhouses, that sort of stuff. Um, we even have uh, pet shops and chippies and gyms and all sorts of crazy stuff down there too. And if you wanted to make some more houses, I mean, you've seen some in the park already, but if you wanted to make some more modern style houses, like that's a modern tower house that I've made, and a modern cube house, and we have a suburban house, this is like a British style suburban house, it's actually my own house, made in Minecraft, and this is a modern mansion, and we have even some more suburban style houses, we have a suburban style house here, and here, we even have one over here, and we have a another like realistic style suburban house here too. We even have some wooden houses, like this is a wooden mansion that we've made, and we have so much stuff on the channel, guys, what I'm basically saying is, check out the card system, check out the description below, I hope that you've enjoyed the video, please do check out the channel if you're interested. Subscribe for more. Um, I hope you've had a great day. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll see you guys in the next one.